Hi, Foundations friends. It's time for us to get our warm up going on. You know what? Today we're going to start by singing the vowels. A, apple, a, e, ed, a, i, itch, i, o, octopus, a, u, up, a. Awesome. And now let's play a glued sound game. I'm going to say the sound and you tell me the keyword. Ing. Ring. Onk. Honk. Ong. Lung. Ink. Bink. Nice job. Now for our R controls. A R car R. O R horn or. E R her er. I R bird er. U R burn er. And last but not least, our newest learning, all of our long vowel sounds. Let's do them. A apple a, a safe a. E ed a, e p e. This is the new one we're learning today. I itch it, I pine I. O octopus a, o home o. U up a, u mule u. You rule oo. So we did the long U with the mule last video, and we didn't really talk about that sometimes when it looks like vowel consonant E with the long U, it kind of has an oo sound. So there's two ways that sometimes U consonant E is pronounced. I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. Okay, let's get rolling, everybody. Let's do a long trick word review. When I flash it, you try to beat me and say it before me. Why? Try. Two. Two. Very. Also. Come some. Would, could, should. Her, over. And now is our new trick word of the day. The trick word is number. See if you can find it in the sentence. The sentence asks a question. It says, what is your number? Can you find number? Sure you can. Number, n. There's only one word that starts with n. Here it is. All right, let's really look at this trick word, number. What parts of it are tricky and what parts could we tap out? N a, uh, m, mm, b, er, like in her, er. Hmm. It's a long word. That's what makes this a trick word right now. It's got an R control and it's got two syllables, num, bur, which we'll be talking about in a few weeks. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get our arms out, nice and big and straight, and let's sky write number. N, U, M B E R number. Take your little finger and do that on your desk or table three times. Excellent. After that, it's time for us to play a little game. So if you have a dice, you could pause it here and go grab it. If you don't, that is okay. I have one. Okay, so this is what our game is, and it's got all vowel consonant E words with all of the long vowels we've learned so far. So just to review, the new one we're talking about is the long E, like this boy here, his name is Pete. We have Ed with the short E, and we have Pete with the long E, E-P-E. -E. So I have my die, and what I'm going to do is roll it and see which row I need to read. So I rolled... The number, what number is this? Five, very good. So I'm gonna take my finger, well, I guess I can use my cursor, and I'm going to try to read these words. Tap them out with me. D, eight, date. And you know what, I'm gonna try not to have so much space in between the sounds. I'm gonna try to keep continuously blending. Bike, bike, time, time. Mm, ol, mole, 
rude, rude. And that's one of those times where the U sounds more like ooh than you. Rude. Do you hear it? Good. Okay, let's do one more game. One more roll. What number did I get this time? That's right, a four. Here we go. This time I'm going to tap in my head. Cute. Nose. Gave. Fine. Pain. Good job over there. This could be a good time to pause your screen, and if you have dice, keep playing it yourself, or just read all of the words. You want to keep reading them until you can do it automatically and quickly, just like this. Excellent. And now we're going to look at some sentences. Now I know these are a little bit tiny, so what I'm going to do is make them I wanted to have all of these so you could freeze the screen here and practice, but together we will read just a couple. So let me make them a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do eeny, meeny, miny, mo and see where my finger stops. Okay, stopped on this one here. I want you to just look how many words are in this sentence that are vowel consonant E. Three. Good. Let's tap them out before we read the whole sentence. The first one, G A V E. G. Ave. And just to make this a little more clear, I think I'll put a little box around it, just like that, so that you can see the one I'm on. So I'm on this red box. Oh. There we go. So we know g-ave, gave. The next one has a consonant blend, g -l -ob, globe. And then I see a person's name, Jane. Jane. I gave the globe to Jane. I gave the globe to Jane. Awesome. And let me bring my square over another one down here. And how many vowel consonant E words do you see here? Two. Let's tap them. Made. Made. And slime. Slime. Let's read the whole sentence. I made slime with the mud. I made slime with the mud. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Great job reading. Remember, you can practice as many of these as you want. Okay, get ready. We need to do some building or writing. Here we go. Okay, your first word is rake. Let's tap it and write it. R A K. Okay, we're going to do three words and then we'll mark them. This is going to be a review. It could be anything. Here's your next word. Where am I looking? Stink. Let's tap it and write it. St ink. T -t -t ink. Great job. Your next word is dune. D -u -n. D -u -u -u. Oh, the oo is the, the u, like rule. Dune. Okay, one more word. Grass. G -r -a -s. Okay, now that we have four words, we're going to mark them. I want you to please mark all of the vowel consonant E syllables. So search for the vowels. Here's a vowel. Does it have a consonant and an E? Yep. Scoop it. It's vowel consonant E. Mark it. We don't hear the E, and it's a long A, so a macron. Let's look at the next one. Here's the vowel. Is it vowel consonant E? Nope, we'll come back to it. This one, is it vowel consonant E? Mm -hmm. Scoop it, mark it, vowel consonant E, silent E, macron. Now let's see how we mark the other two words. Here's my vowel, there's no E, 
So the other vowel type we know is closed. Is this vowel closed in with a consonant right next to it in just one vowel? It is. So let's scoop it and do a C. It's closed. And that I is a short I. It says it. Let's find our vowel. Is it closed in? Mm -hmm. No E. Mm -hmm. One vowel. Great. Scoop it. It's closed in. And the A is short, so we put a brav. It says ah in grass. Awesome job. And now we will do two trick words. Wood. This was our word earlier this week. We know it starts with w. The tricky part is the o u l d wood. And your second trick word practice is over. O. It tells us v. We know that sound. And then er, like in her, her, over. Great. Let's read all of the words that we did. Rake, stink, dune, grass, wood, over. Nice job, my friends. Time for a sentence. The sentence is, the vase is in the crate. Repeat after me. The vase is in the crate. Okay, pause here to work on your sentence. Okay, let's check it over. Did you start with an uppercase? Did you put an end mark on it? Okay, listen to me read it and point to each word to make sure you have all of them. The vase, uh-oh, I'm missing it, is in the crate. I'm missing two words. Whew. Okay, let's tap out those two words I'm missing and tap out what you wrote to check it. It's supposed to say vase. V. All right, I know that sound. A. Oh, A, it tells me its name. S, vase. Oh, and I know if the A says its name, it's an E at the end. It's vowel consonant E. The vase is in the crate. K, er. That sounds like a digraph blend. K, er. A, A, T. Great. And the A said A, so I need my E. All right, let's scoop it and read it together. The vase is in the crate. The vase is in the crate. The vase is in the crate. What are you picturing in your head for that? A crate. Hmm, I'm picturing a box, like a wooden box with some holes in it. And then I'm picturing a vase, a purple vase for flowers inside. Like maybe the Amazon delivery guy just brought it to my house if it's still in the crate and I'm going to unpack it and put some flowers in it on this beautiful spring day. All right, everyone. Great job today. Keep up the reading and writing and hard work.